All right, let's discuss how Utah might permanently stay in Gojo's body. Based on the latest chapter, Utah assumed that the cursed technique that would burn out would be Gojo's Limitless. However, it turns out that Kenjaku's cursed technique was the one that burned out. This suggests that Gojo's body can now use Kenjaku's cursed technique. So Gojo's body might now have two cursed techniques, Limitless and Kenjaku's. Utah could use the body hopping cursed technique only through his copy technique. This cursed technique is still linked to Utah's original body. This indicates that when Utah took over Gojo's body, Kenjaku's cursed technique became engraved into Gojo's body, similar to how Sukuna's cursed technique became part of Yuji's body. Therefore, Gojo now has two cursed techniques. This is good news. If this isn't the case, then why did Kenjaku's cursed technique burn out instead of limitless? This implies that after the five minute limit, there is a chance Utah might stay in Gojo's body permanently? This might get confirmed in chapter 264. Anyway, please tell me your thoughts in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss 